Hello everyone, you are watching Great Linguistic Expectations and it's Elena here. As Finnish language, as you know, bothers me quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to learn it, but I'm failing constantly. I mean, I know I shouldn't talk like that, because I think I'm making progress, but I still can't speak it really. <laughs> so, as it's uh, quite a huge part of my life, Today I wanted to address uh, one issue of the language and uh, by saying issue I mean a certain word uh, which is commonly used in Finnish, in spoken Finnish I think and it's noni. Uh, the research shows that uh, Finns use this word like everywhere and instead of everything so um, judging by the intonation and uh, the usage or even maybe the stress Although in Finnish the stress always goes on the first syllable. But, well, I don't know. So judging by all that, um, the meaning of it uh, changes. I think that we can say that uh, this word is kind of uh, interjection, like all those sounds that we make when we are thinking. I think this is common practice for all the languages, but though not all of them use uh, like whole words like this, uh, just sounds. I need to address uh, this word today because I think I gotta learn how to use it and how to understand the meaning of it. If Finns say it to me, I should know what that means, right? So yeah, in order to memorize uh, uh, all those meanings of uh, noni in Finnish, I decided to recreate uh, all those variants. And uh, thank God we have internet, <laughs> so I found uh, like a article on Reddit where all those uh, different nonis are listed. So, wish me luck, I'm gonna try to say it properly. So, the first one is uh, where the emphasis goes on the first syllable. Uh, it's noni. No. Why do I say it? Like, where do I put the emphasis on the second syllable? Noni. And uh, it means, well, now you've done it, good job. And w it's like, it says sarca uh, with sarcasm. No, noni. Noni, you're basically screwed. <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, <laughs> please tell me in the comments whether I'm gonna succeed in it or not. <laughs> okay, the second one is where the emphasis is on the second syllable, which definitely is more pleasant to me. I don't know why, I just wanted to say it like that. So, noni, uh, which means I told I told you, didn't I? Noni. Now like, noni? Is it good? <laughs> uh, it's so embarrassing. I don't know why. I'm just feeling embarrassed. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, the third one is where there is no emphasis at all. It's how do you say a word without any emphasis? Noni. Like meaning anyway, or just uh, uh, it, it is uh, put instead of some thinking process. Noni. Yeah, that's simple. Like noni. Give me a second to think. Okay, that's good. Then we have. Um, Oh, <laughs> the one which is a bit longer in the second syllable and the stress goes on the first one. Nonin. Uh, no, nonin. Uh, meaning, I admit my defeat, you were right. Nonin. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should first read uh, the meaning of it, it would be easier. Then, let's get started. Uh, the emphasis is on the second syllable. Nonin. Hmm, yeah, now it's better. At least, <laughs> that's what I hear. Then, oh, that sucks. Oh, now it's it has a double consonant. No, I, I can't. Non... Noni? Noni. It's not for me. I, I, 
do you think that uh, non a non-native speaker can handle this? I have major doubts about that. <laughs> non me? No, 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 that's horrible. I can't say it. Non. I I give up. The next one, uh, where the emphasis is on the last syllable, and again I have a double consonant, and it means uh, without any any further ado, let's get started. Non ni. Yeah. Non, non ni. And then I like go to the matter of the things that I'm talking about. Non ni. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, we have no emphasis and a double consonant, meaning you are such a disappointment. Adorable. Non ni. <laughs> Nonni. <laughs> Maybe this one turned out a bit better than the previous ones. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! The next one is too long, like too many letters N. Uh, it means that's too bad, or I told you so. Nonni. <laughs> Nonni. No, no, ni, no. How do you say it? Like too many letters and no, ni. <laughs> this is horrible, and I'm a teacher. I hope my students are not gonna see it. Uh, okay, then, then we divide the word. Why? Why? Okay, it means like. Yeah, just like I was saying, or and that's about all I know about this issue. Oh, okay, you're right. No, ni. Okay, you're. No, ni. <laughs> I'm contemplating the meaning of my whole life at this current moment. The next one is Are it's finally working? Or I'm not so sure about this one. Oh, well, I guess you're right, but consider the following. Like, this is one word, one varied variant of uh, saying this, but it, it all means different things. <laughs> Do you think that I need to, like, lengthen the E? Okay. Noni! Yeah, that can mean that it's finally working. But I'm not sure about that one. Noni? <laughs> with some <laughs> shade of doubt <laughs> and well I guess you're right but consider the following noni <laughs> oh my god I need a teacher for this okay <laughs> the next one means uh, finally finished after something lengthy or a speech or something like that okay let me uh, imagine the situation. Well, I've been talking for like uh, what 12 minutes more than 12 minutes now, so <laughs> it's used the situation Nonin No, like that's not how you conclude a speech Nonin 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 <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? I think for your guys' entertainment. <laughs> then we have, that's what I've literally been trying to say for the past three hours. <laughs> or, I know, right? These are different things. How? How do I have one word for that? Okay, it's um, divided. It's again gonna be difficult. No need. That's miserable. <laughs> okay, let's try. I know, right? No nee. No nee. No nee. <laughs> oh, why am I feeling Italian right now? No nee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I should give it to my friends to try. That's gonna be fun. Oh, I have three more left and this torture is gonna end. 
The next one is said to be the most passive aggressive finish word. <laughs> oh, I can do that, I think. <laughs> and it's, it means I freaking agree. <laughs> um, yeah, tell me about it after some negative discussion. Mm. No ni. <laughs> no ni. No. Like, I flip and agree. No ni. It's not passive aggressive, it's aggressive. No ni. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> well, uh, the last two. <laughs> and uh, it's said that only mothers know how to say this one. Well, I'm not a mother, but still, I'm a teacher. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna help. Uh, and it means do this, or so God help me. <laughs> and it's 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and you're about to clean up the entire house and the neighbor's house, too. <laughs> what? Hmm. <clears throat> Noni? <laughs> Is it good, like, with it? Teacher's voice? Noni? The last one. And it's gonna end. That's good for those driving a car. I don't drive. That's not gonna help. And it means, again, this F word. Like, freaking drive, you slow as slug. <laughs> oh, please don't freaking hit me, please. <laughs> How the hell did that one even get a license? <laughs> Well, I think my dad can say it. He's very explicit <laughs> when he drives. Um, noni, noni, noni. <sighs> um, well, I've tried to do my best in this. I don't know um, whether it was successful or not. I'm sure that it's not. <laughs> but please tell me in the comments uh, which ones I got right. I'm sure maybe when I move to Finland I will hear all these nonnies around me and uh, they will just naturally get into my head and I will be able to use them. Thank you very much for watching my tortures. <laughs> I hope that it was entertaining, anyhow, at least a bit. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!